We visited today uh, the director of the CIA, uh, Mr. Pompeo, which was a real privilege. I also uh, went to see the people of ICE, uh, which is a wonderful institution with regard to migration and uh, customs. Um, and uh, I admire to a high extent their professionalism. At noon we had a discussion with um, uh, a think tank on uh, internet access and uh, tonight I gave uh, a lecture for uh, students at uh, Johns Hopkins. So um, I'm a very happy man at the end of the day. Well, the challenge of radicalization is not new and it's not typical for religious matters. You can also have radicalization with regard to political matters. For instance, we had radical communists at the time who became extremely violent and uh, uh, the Red Brigades in Italy or the Bader Meinhof in Germany were radicals too. Um, major uh, challenge is, of course, to um, avoid that those terrorist attacks uh, are reproduced in one way or another and that in the future we care about the uh, uh, better integration of uh, migrants in our society. But terrorism is uh, a phenomenon that is uh, uh, reproducing itself every 30 or 40 years in society. Well, we are at the center of Europe and Brussels, of course, is the official capital of Europe and therefore also a, a point of attraction for a number of people also in the religious atmosphere. We had a lot of recruiters uh, coming to Belgium to recruit foreign fighters because, well, Brussels is a nice place to be for a number of people. So uh, since we are so vital in Europe uh, and uh, security uh, of the European institutions is vital, I, I really think we should do everything to uh, remain at the center of the efforts against terrorism, which for the time being uh, we've been together with France and um, we have uh, done our utmost and we will continue to do that. Well, of course the, the United States is asked to uh, radicalization and terrorism, um, a country with a lot of experience since 9-11. And um, they have since uh, a very long time uh, a very uh, professional stand on everything what is uh, foreign and national intelligence. So we have a lot to learn from them. Um, on the other hand, I think that security for the states is very important and security in Europe is important too. Um, so uh, with regard to the issue, uh, we came uh, for to the United States, that is uh, internet data access for uh, the judiciary in, in Europe with regard to uh, American providers as Messenger and WhatsApp and uh, Facebook and the like. Um, this is uh, for us a, a very, very interesting uh, meeting. and. Um, the Cloud Act that one is preparing at present uh, in, uh, in the States is for us uh, uh, a high priority. Coming back to the United States uh, remains for uh, me always uh, an open view of the world. It's as if I can breathe better uh, when I'm in the States. Uh, there is a lot of more a lot more of open space, uh, the intellectual debate is much more intense and you feel that freedom and uh, especially integration uh, are uh, major characteristics of this society. I must admit that when I compare the American society with 1980, 1981, when Ronald Reagan got elected president, um, the United States have become a much more secure environment in at the time. If you go to the city of New York now, and you take the subway or the metro and you took it in 1980, there is an enormous difference. So uh, the, 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 the big cities in, in the United States uh, have enormously progressed with regard to security and are a good example for Europe and for Brussels more specifically. Because New York back at that time was um, not easy uh, for a foreigner, whereas today it's, uh, it's a very, very nice place to be.